everybody, and welcome to the first ever Monkey and Manimal Movie Missions. I am Monkey Jones. I am Manimal, and hoping that this is our last episode. <laughs> Just get one go around. Yep. And we are, are mistakes. We are joined on our maiden voyage by a very close friend of ours. You've heard about him from our Nuzlocke videos, uh, Lightning Long Johnson. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Famous for having a... A love of... I was going to say long... A rather... Long history of... No, no, long di... He's got a... Discovering my inner... He's got a big penis. Oh, <laughs> he oh had to pick up the mic for that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, Monkey and Animals Movie Missions is the show, probably the only show on the internet, where uh, two half-human, half-animal hosts... Uh, have the audience vote every single episode on what movie they watch. When we presented this, uh, everybody voted in the comments of the the trailer mm. for the show, mm -hmm. and the winner was God's Not Dead. How there was a very very close second place. Let's of, not let's not talk about of that. A, a Serbian <laughs> film. Nah. But, but God's Not Dead just barely beat it. Uh, so for the next uh, episode, I have created a a uh, uh, what's that called? What's that fucking website? Straw poll. Yeah, there you go. With uh, you can only do thirty, so I did the thirty uh, most requested options on that. So uh, there's a link to that in the description, so you can go vote. You can vote multiple times. Uh, but enough about talking about the future. Let's talk about the past, my friends. In the past. Because five guess, minutes ago. Guess what happened five minutes ago in the past? We watched a, a little farted. movie. <laughs> yeah, we watched a little film. I like yeah. to call. Yeah, film. Uh, true. Film. God, <laughs> God is art in its purest. God is shot on uh, <laughs> sixty millimeter film. Yeah. Uh, when they try to they try to have a, a road show of it to show it in the the high millimeter. Oh, yeah, but God wouldn't let their cars show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but he no. had a reason. He had yeah. a reason. It was for a, for an atheist to die. Yeah. <laughs> we watched a little film called God is Still Alive, starring Kevin. God's making it. Yeah. <laughs> God's still kicking. Starring still uh, kicking. Kevin um, Sorbob. Sorry, I'd like to point out he was Hercules. And mm -hmm. if there is a Hercules, then they're, uh, that's kind of sacrilegious, isn't it? Well, because yeah, he's a demigod. Yeah, he's a demigod. Yeah, that doesn't oh. match the Bible. Yeah, so uh, come on, oh, explain is. yourself, Kevin mm -hmm. Sorbo, you fucking sinner. But here's the thing. There's kind of a controversy going on between the three of us because Manimal here is an avid atheist, whereas Lightning Long Johnson and I are born-again Christians. Oh, yeah. So we, Recently born again. So the whole movie... <laughs> the plot of the movie... Uh, as of five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. So we, we, we were cheering on the Christians in the movie, and Manimal here was cheering on the atheist professor. And the Muslims. Yeah, and yep. the Muslims. <laughs> well, interestingly <enough. laughs> For some reason, atheist Manimal was cheering on the Muslims. Yeah. Something about he was hoping Sharia law would come into yeah, effect. Yeah, he was so everybody... watching the movie about half of the time. The rest of the time he was reading the Quran. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. He's, he's hoping that all the Christians get killed in the, the Muslim genocide. Yeah. So should we should we try to discuss the plot of this movie, boys? <laughs> I don't, uh, which I don't... plot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this movie has eight subplots that don't intersect until the very end when they all go to a concert. Yeah. What I one of them would you call it a subplot? Which one? Uh, I'm talking about a little car that wouldn't start. <laughs> that was fucking dumb. That was more like a cutaway. So this gag. is a, this is a three hour movie, and about an hour and a half of it is yeah. these two guys and their car won't start. Yeah. And it turns out God wouldn't let their car start because he wanted them to watch an atheist get hit by a car and die. Yeah. <laughs> so they could so an atheist's death could be prolonged longer. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That was fucked up. But that's at the end. Should we should we talk about the beginning? Sure. How, how does this movie start off? We got uh, we got newsboys. Not yet. Well, we got newsboys. That's shirts. the very end. <laughs> we got their shirts going on. So the director of the Avengers, um, uh, Josh Whedon. Josh Whedon. He's a freshman in college, <laughs> yeah. and he goes to. Is this an origin story for Josh? <laughs> yeah. Dude, it is. Yeah. Uh, it's weird. This origin story didn't talk about Marvel at all. It didn't talk about it's, filmmaking. It's a very meta origin story. <laughs> He's just arguing with his professor about if oh, God dude. is real. Yeah. And then his uh, Captain America is his Christ. He dies and rises again. Captain no, America. You're thinking of that. Superman. No, because he gets he gets frozen. That's like his. He doesn't his die. Thing. Yeah, but it's like he's. he's yeah. And he and wasn't it's more than three days. He wasn't frozen for three days. It was like seventy fucking years. Yeah. He's got some creative freedom, doesn't he? No, the Bible doesn't allow creative. Kevin freedom. Feige does not allow for creative freedom. Oh well, fuck you. Okay, I mean we can after the recording if you want. So so Joss Whedon. They can't see your hand gesture. <laughs> yeah, they can't see your thumbs up and like your look of intrigue on your face. Like yeah, I'll fuck monkey. Huh. We need to do a face cam just for Manimal. <laughs> They're missing out, everybody at home. So, uh, Joss Whedon, 
he's a freshman in college. He's got this fucking bitchy, short, blonde girlfriend. And, Don't we all? And he's signing up for an elective in uh, Philosophy 150. And the guy whose beard, Manimal, had lots of comments to make. It's fucking... If you're gonna grow uh, a beard, one one scene from a character that is never named. <laughs> if you're gonna grow a beard, then fucking grow a beard. I, I hate the chin strap bullshit. Just either go all in or don't fucking have one at all. You see, that's that's uh, that's real. It's a, a it's, it's a privileged approach that you take. Like all oh, all men should be able to grow the beard I can grow. Yep. Like next you're gonna say like why can't all black men just be successful like me? Oh, there's something called privilege in society, manimal. Uh, like, Beard privilege, black privilege. No, not black privilege. I'd like to go white on, privilege. I would like to go on the record and say I've never said that. Uh, we're, these are all quotes from you. We I'm pretty sure. On, we have you on recording. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was you talking. Uh, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Take two. Take two. <laughs> so you just got back from a KKK rally and you're ready to watch this you movie. Son of a bitch. Take three. Take three. <laughs> cut. Cut. <laughs> Delete it. Okay. Uh, we so, can, we'll edit that out in post. Who's we? So the guy at the... <laughs> uh, Monkey does not do edits. So the guy says, uh, you might not want to take this class because the professor is a, is a hard-ass atheist. And jo- after, after saying that, he's wearing a Christian class. Yeah, yeah, right. And Joss Whedon's like, bitch, I ain't afraid to no know atheist. No. Yeah, pretty much. What happens next, uh, Long John? Uh, well... Because I, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, well, you should. You've seen this movie multiple times. I, I'm the only one here who... Saw this movie in theaters. These two are um, virgins when it comes to God's Not Dead. I'm yeah. not a virgin. No. Shut up. <laughs> what are you talking about? As of five minutes ago. God's Not Dead virgins. Well, you were up until today. Sure. Kevin has laid his leg me down and made me a man today. <laughs> and, then, and then he laid down Forcefully. his own life for the film. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, well, uh, which... Does it cut into another one of the plots, or...? It, it's always intercutting random subplots, even yep. in the middle of scenes where you shouldn't be cutting away. So uh, there's a subplot with a Muslim girl yeah. whose dad ashamed it, of her own religion forces her. The dad can't forces possibly, her possibly uh, be successful while wearing a burqa. Yeah, she has to wear the fucking head mask thing yeah. to school. Apparently, and then, she's an ugly. She's ugly when she's wearing it. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. So when she's putting on her burqa, when her dad's coming to pick her up, a, a white girl comes up and says, "You're beautiful." Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, so, so she's beautiful once she covers up her face." Then, yeah. <laughs> Are you? Okay, fucking manimal over here getting all offended that we're making fun of Muslims again, you goddamn atheist. They can't see your face. <laughs> they can't see your blushing. Right <laughs> yeah, he is blushing. Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll edit that out and post. Okay, well. so the the plot with the Muslim chick is that she is a she wants to be a Christian and she's, she's... somehow being I don't being converted. Without anybody trying, well, because nobody talks to her at school. She's listening to Christian music on her Zune. Yeah. And that's what converts <laughs> on, her. On her touchscreen Zune. And her little brother who's playing, um, uh, what, what was it, Alien Attack? I don't fucking She's playing know. fucking Meteorite? He's playing a, one of those Texas... Uh, TI Godly. instruments, yeah. yeah he's, playing, <laughs> he's playing video games on that, and he catches his sister listening to Christian music. She may as well be watching porn. Yeah. She's not listening to she's not listening to Christian music. She's listening to Bible verses. Oh you know? uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And that's how she gets comfy. <laughs> yeah, she was laying in her bed with her headphones in and her eyes closed. I yeah. imagine she was masturbating underneath oh, yeah. while listening to that. That's the only way you can listen to Christian verses anymore is to masturbate to it. Sure. Because you're so horny for God. I know I am. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait. So now you're So this movie did make you a Christian then? Made me something. <laughs> Made him horny. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so then an hour later, we don't see this subplot again for another hour. Uh, the little kid, I guess, tells the dad, and uh, the dad beats the fuck. Oh yeah. Out of the Muslim girl for listening to Christian music. We're not exaggerating. He beats the fuck out of her in front of uh, neighbors. Now you guys haven't seen my Quran, Quran review because it hasn't premiered yet as of this recording mm, teasing future projects well it's already been out by the time they're hearing this oh okay but like i, I go into detail on in how it's totally okay both in the quran and with modern muslims to beat the fuck out of girls if they don't uh do what you say and if you haven't seen my review there's a part where i i do a prank call to a a quran helpline like it's fucking legit and i ask the guy I ask him, so is it true that in the Quran, if a woman disobeys you, you can beat her? And he's like, oh, oh yeah, that, it's true. It doesn't happen in America, but in other countries. And I was like fucking shocked. Yeah. Like I was no longer even joking in the video. Like I lost my character. I was like, 
Are you fucking kidding? What, what the fuck? <laughs> it, it, it's religion. fucked up. So at least the writers of this movie got one thing right. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's the Muslims beat the fuck out of women, just like Manimal. But you're not Muslim. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Man, Manimal is playing for all sorts of teams. Uh, yeah. uh, He's doubling down. Yeah, Muslims, atheists, homosexuals, every team imaginable. So which subplot was your favorite, Manimal? You can explain a subplot to the fans. Uh. Um. Explain the subplot. We got they got the guys in the car. We got the Muslim. And the guys in the car with the car that just would not start. Tell the subplot God. about the the girl who gets cancer because God hates her. <laughs> so there's a reporter, and she's she, a dirty libtard. Yeah, leftist. She, she's very liberal. She but has a man, she sticking. loves. She might be liberal, but she loves some Christian. Oh yeah, rock. she's just hanging out, listening to them <laughs> rock out to God. Just, just listening to them rock out to God while she's typing up her uh, her. Report on her the Duck articles. Dynasty guy, and she her thing is she um, just shows up and interviews uh, hardcore conservative Christians on the spot because she ambushes them. Yep, she ambushes them. She puts them on the spot. Why do you believe in God? Yeah, and the very offensive uh, shooting of ducks and praying <laughs> to God on their television show that is. I mean, viewers that tuned in, they just wanted to see some ducks get killed. And now they're saying they're having this Christianity shoved down their throat. Yeah, I'd be offended. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was because I watched that show totally. Oh, yeah. So I was very you, offended. You just, you're, you're, not, you're not a fan of Christianity, but you are a fan of... Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. Of course. Yeah, you're a fan of hunting. <laughs> of course. Why not? Yeah. There is no, there is no crossover between the mm, two. No. But since she's, like, so headstrong against God... Uh, headstrong to take you God. on! Uh, headstrong, headstrong to take God. on anyone! <laughs> yeah, I know that Jesus sucks and this is not oh. where you belong! Go ahead. First first single off our that new album. That explains all these trap posters. <laughs> hey, don't tell people what my posters are. In the are. lounge, oh my god. Oh, oh yeah, we're filming some animal's house. God right. damn it. <laughs> I thought you didn't believe in God. <laughs> So, uh, fuck it. <laughs> Cut. Uh, take, take five. <laughs> this is like take eight by now. Uh, so, uh, she ends up getting cancer because she doesn't believe in God. Right. Well, yeah, if you do not believe in God, you will inevitably die. But those who do <laughs> will live forever. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not talking about internal life. I'm talking about mortal. Yeah. <laughs> no Christians die in the film. No. Nope. It's only atheists die. Not only even atheists. And uh, I guess if you were born in another religion, you're going to get roughed up. Mm-hmm. But, but then uh, you can convert. If you convert, you'll live. Sure. Oh yeah, we forgot. To, I forgot to mention. Uh, the movie ends with the Muslim girl getting kicked out of her house mm-hmm. and then not having a home. She attends a concert. Yeah, she, dude, she's <laughs> rocking out at a concert for that one night. She's good. Yeah, that's rent money right there. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then after the concert, she was just fucked. She had no place to stay. But, uh, she, but she got to go to the concert. She was thinking in the short term, not long term. Yeah. In the short term, she's happy. But after the concert, she's gonna realize she's got nowhere to go. I think mm. she assumed that she was gonna get hit by a car after leaving the concert. <laughs> yeah. so there's so many people getting hit and run outside of that concert. Oh, yeah. With doctors being there and on the ready to help, and just stand there and do nothing while a pasture. Te- preaches the name of the Lord. If you're about to die, do you want your body to be saved or your eternal soul to be saved? Yeah. I think I'd want the doctor who's standing there willing and able to help me to help me. <sighs> Typical atheist mindset, thinking in the short term. you got to think in the long term, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Come on. Think, think beyond this mortal life and yeah. all your... Yeah. Everything that you have to take care of and all your family. and Yeah, just forget about your responsibilities because yeah. when you die, you have eternal salvation to look forward to. Yeah, dude. Come on. Nah. You Jesus beard looking motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so so she gets cancer and does she get converted at the end into Christianity? Into, I don't know. Uh, she prays with uh, newsboys who have a prominent role in this film. Yeah, yeah. I was not familiar with newsboys. Never heard of them mm-hmm. other than this movie. No. But they have a 20 minute concert to end the oh. film. It, it feels like a pay-per-view concert. Yeah. But you get it for free. What a bargain. It is rock. And by free, I mean uh, two ninety nine on the YouTube um, <laughs> buy store, because that's how much I had to pay for this. <laughs> so, okay, we got all pretty much all the subplots taken care of. Let's go to the main, the juicy, the meat of the there film. So you, I'm all about you got, the meat. You got Joss Whedon, director of Captain America. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's right. Director of uh, Iron Man Four. Iron Man Four. Director of Thor Three. Why don't feminists like me? Why don't? Fe- <laughs> oh no! Yeah, because he made Scarlett Johansson Baron, Sasha Baron Cohen. He made them the same person. 
cool. In, in Avengers 2. You don't remember that? Oh, oh no, I must have been. The, the plot was that Black Widow was barren, and that's why she was a monster like the Hulk. Oh, and yeah. that's why they're mad. The and she was in mad. jail cell. She person. couldn't have possibly been talking about the fact that she can kill men with ease. No. That's why she's a monster. No, it's because, because she's barren. It's because she can't have babies shoot out of her vagina. Yeah. That movie was good. No, I'm talking about the uproar. No, I'm just kidding. That movie scene. wasn't very good. Oh, wow. So, the main plot of the film is that it's Joss Whedon versus the atheist professor. The professor says, okay, first day of philosophy class, what us philosophers love to do is to hinder all free thought. So, kids, just admit right now there's no God. And Joss Whedon's like, uh-uh. You'll get an A+. Plus. Uh-uh, yep. nuh-uh. A plus. I, li- I like to point out... The entire year and it's I would like down, to point out... On paper, God's, God's that at, at the beginning of the class, he says, this is not going to be an easy course. No, my friend, no easy rides here. So and then one guy just gets up and leaves. Yeah, if you're thinking this is going to be an easy class, get an easy A, you might as well just leave now. And some, the fucking typical cool guy in your class, so, <laughs> I'm out of here, and gets up and leaves. It turns out, buddy, you probably should have fucking stayed because you would have got a really easy it's the A. the easiest class of all time. Because the entire class was just listening to two dorks battle each other the entire time. <laughs> and you only had one one paper graded, and it was whether or not you were willing to write God is dead on it. Mm-hmm. Would you... Now, as an avid Christian manimal, would you... <laughs> we're switching the rules on him. Yeah. Would you have... We're going to play devil's advocate. Yeah. I mean, God's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have written down God is dead to get the easy A? Absolutely. God will forgive me. Yeah. That's why Christ died for my sins. So I can write God is dead. So back during the Holocaust, you would have been like, if you were Jewish, you would have been like, oh no, it's a, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not Jewish. Please don't kill me. You would have just abandoned your God for the sake of a grade, for the sake of your life. Fuck you yeah. piece of shit. All the, six million Jews are dead. And this is what and you have I'm to say. not one of them. <laughs> oh my God, he lived through the Holocaust. <laughs> wow, manimal mocking the dead Jews from the Holocaust. <laughs> We're not cutting that out either, buddy. What other bad things can we make manimal say? Uh, he already admitted to being in the KKK and I, made fun of the dead Jews. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how does this atheist uh, professor battle go? Because I know you guys were enthralled. He, no, no, but well, neither first, one of you touched your phones once. Oh, yeah. We were not on our phones, and we were not talking about Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember uh, like more to, about Donkey Kong that I'd we like talked to about. take a moment out of this podcast to uh, go ahead and put a plug in for Donkey Kong Country, everybody. Donkey Kong Country 3, specifically. Donkey Kong Country 3, Wait, specifically. You're advertising a game that came out 15 years I ago? I absolutely am. Nintendo. So, go to your local... Nintendo, link, link the patron in this for Nintendo. Yep. Uh, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go to your local thrift store. Pick yourself up uh, Super Nintendo. Run, pick, don't walk. To your run, local don't Goodwill. walk. Pick up yourself a copy of uh, Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong Country, Country Three. 3. Um, the uh, it's uh, it's fun. You're gonna you're gonna play it. You're gonna like it. You're gonna have fun. Uh, if you're you manimal, you're gonna jerk off to Dixie Kong uh, and all your hair. Well, well, that's, uh, 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 <laughs> that's beside and the then, point. Uh, we're, we're moving on. Uh, we're just go ahead and have yourself a good old time. Uh, there's there's a circus tent in the game. You can go to that and play some games. <laughs> okay, here's the thing about this movie. It, Everybody obviously expects us to do nothing but shit on it because yeah. it, it's a very bad movie. Just a bunch of lebtards wow. sitting around in a circle. But there are good things Making I want to... fun of people's faith. Okay, there, I'm sorry. There are good things I want to say about the film. Sure. The the scenes in the classroom where Josh... Is it Josh or Joss? It is Josh. Where Josh... It is almost Joss Whedon. <laughs> by, by one letter. Okay. That is... I don't know how they came up... How do you not think about Joss Whedon? <laughs> Somebody on set must have thought about it. Do He's Christians not watch prominent. Marvel movies? Um, they might not. False they probably... gods. False gods. False gods. gods. Oh yeah, but they no, have Captain America's a god fearing man. Yeah. Yeah. And he's met a god. They, they've never watched. He had a show called Angel. Oh, that is true. He did yeah. have a show called jo- Angel. Joss Whedon did. Yeah. Yeah. Joss Whedon's it's, a it's, Christian. It's, a, it's okay. It's yeah. Okay show. It was a spinoff of Buffy. Yep. Yeah. Was it's it bad? Okay. No, it was okay show. Yeah. Um, it's. For a while, it's a little too villain of the weeky to where there's really no sense of drama because you know Angel's gonna beat the big baddie oh, in man. the end because it's just like a, a one time off mm. spinoff for the bad guy. But, anyways, we're not talking about Angel, we're talking about is Angel the chick who's in a podcast? Uh, yeah. is, is Angel in uh, so stay how tuned, I'm... stay Angel's tuned, stay tuned for Angel's Not Dead starring me. Uh, we're gonna have uh, no, you're, you're gonna no play Angel, Angel? you by yourself because yep, nobody it's, here is it's watching. Me, <laughs> it's gonna be me by myself, no one else. We're gonna talk about Angel. You got questions? Go ahead and send them to. I have a fucking question. Sure. So is is Angel the actress who's in How I Met Your Mother? 
Because wasn't she in Buffy? No, yeah, she's she's yeah. in Buffy. Yeah, no, Li- Angel, Lily. Angel's a guy. He's the what? The Bones. He, yeah, he's the guy from Bones. I've never watched it. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody watches Bones. I don't know how that show is still on. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one where they make the letters look like numbers, or is that numbers? Uh, I don't know. Do, do Bones, do they... I don't give a fuck about Bones. I was going to say something nice about God's Not Dead. Oh. So, the scenes in the classroom where it's the, the kid versus the professor... He has some very good animations on his <laughs> That's true, he does. Spent, a, spent a lot of time. Put a lot of work into yeah. ma- that clock animation to represent... More, more, in, more work on the animations than his argument. But about the arguments, specifically from the professor, I think the writers, while they do put in a lot of stupid bullshit into the movie... Sure. A lot of the arguments presented, especially from the professor, I thought were very logical and well reasoned, and I was surprised and... that they were put into this propaganda piece. Yeah. Because <laughs> some of those arguments were very genuine, and I agree completely with yeah. them. And yeah. the movie had trouble uh, arguing against them. Yeah. And like, their only their only way to uh, to you know kind of win was hit him with a car. Yeah. If you're making a propaganda piece, do you want to put in irrefutable evidence that for the other side, and then just to support your side, say... Hey, fair and balanced, dude. Fair and balanced. <laughs> but it's not even balanced. Like, the atheist... He has much better arguments in the film. Maybe I'm just being biased. But I feel like the no. kid gave a bunch of shit arguments. He did. He's like, oh, well, yeah, but St- Stephen Hawking is using circular logic, so now we, we've circular reached an reasoning. impasse. Like, so the kid, he's never trying to win. He's just trying to make it fucking, like, a balanced argument, whereas the professor's out there to fucking win, and that's why his arguments are so much better. Can you imagine signing up for a college class and the whole semester it's just the professor having beef with one student? <laughs> they they take turns hosting yeah, the class. I feel like there have to be like uh, various subjects that they'll have to go through in philosophy. Probably not just, is God real? Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit of Socrates, a little bit of uh, sure. Sartre. No, let's just talk about if God's real the no. whole time. It's, it's a, yeah. Welcome to 2015, people. Mm-hmm. Uh. Manimal, you uh, said you've taken 300-level philosophy classes before. Did they ever yeah. have arguments about God being real? Um, not re- like It wasn't open for debate because most of my teachers didn't want to open that can of worms. Mm. Most like, teachers uh, didn't walk into class expecting you to, uh, to yeah. convert to atheism. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was They presented the uh, philosophers and their points of views, and it was more of us just... You know, it was our responsibility to know what those points of view were. Yeah, I'll tell you why. It's because they were afraid of getting hit by cars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or getting cancer. Yeah, Spoiler they didn't want, alert, dude. They didn't want to get we cancer. haven't mentioned that he gets hit by a car six times so, yet. So the movie ends <laughs> with the atheist professor getting hit by a car, and then the two... And dying slowly on the ground as the doctor and a priest stand yeah, by. Yeah, the, the two guys whose car wouldn't start, it was, God, go. it was God's plan that their car wouldn't start so they can watch the atheist professor die and convert him to Christianity. That's fucking... That's... Uh, I would rather... I, that's like a satanic thing to do. Yeah. Like, we're gonna watch this man slowly die when there's a man who is more than capable of doing something to help. But no, he's just going to stand there and let the priest do his fucking magic. Do we have to go back into this? You're thinking short term, buddy. You fucking atheist prick. You need, do you want to come to church with me and Long John this yeah. Sunday? We'll I've, take you. I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> come on, dude. I don't want to wake up. Dude, we're going to go to a news, Newsboys concert. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, the and good thing we're going to go play like circle tag or like some stupid game and not have and, sex. And church mice where you got to like crawl underneath the uh, the bleachers. they got to ca- crawl under the pews and pretend that you're a rat. It's a lot of oh, fun. Oh, man. I, the best part about going to like, church. I can't wait to suppress my feelings. <laughs> suppress my feelings. <laughs> Here's the best thing about going to church. You know how during the week... You have to, like, wake up really early to go to work, and you hate it, and you just want your weekend to be relaxing? Yeah. Well, on Sunday morning, you get to wake up early again to go to church. It's not even... nice clothes, and you have to give your money away. Yeah, it's not even in the middle of the day so you can sleep in. You have to wake up at, like, 6 in the morning. It's super fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I don't want to do that. You don't want to come? And then you get to find out how, how bad it's going to be when you burn in hell. Yeah, that's for living, great. For living in uh, contemporary society. Yeah. yeah, well... So... Have we covered all the subplots of this film? Should, uh, we, should we go into maybe more reasons why we do or do not like it? Uh, Does anything there, come are to there mind? any reasons for us to like it? Well, I, I liked some I of the mean, arguments we made, presented. We did uh, make a lot of jokes. Did we mention uh, Kevin Sorbo? Um, not Kevin Sorbo, uh, Dean Cain? No, yeah, go ahead and mention Previous him. Previous Superman, Dean Cain is in this movie. Uh, was he Superman in a movie or a TV show? He was on Lois and Clark. 
which was a TV show huh. in the 90s where he played Superman. Oh, yeah. Back yeah. in the 90s, I oh, was on a very famous it wasn't that famous. Superman. <laughs> he did that, and then he hosted Ripley's Believe It or Not. Did you believe it? Uh, no. <laughs> or not. <laughs> no, I didn't. It was propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Christian propaganda? Yeah. No, no. Uh, atheist propaganda. Oh, really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just showing you fucking freaks the entire show. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah, it was. I used to watch a lot of it. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Dean Cain is playing the boy... He's a... What is he, a lawyer? He's a boisterous coconut. I boisterous don't. coconut. <laughs> he's something and he just got made partner. He's a partner. businessman. And just, he just made partner. He's, he's, dating, he's, he's dating. And he's dating uh, the cancer girl. Yeah, cancer girl. Yeah, that's her name in the movie. Yeah, and, cancer uh, reporter. He is cotton bitch. Oh, oh my god, that's what they call her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, scene. the like scene I, when Josh Wade sucks like that fucking cotton bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, this got a PG rating. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I mean, as long as you put Christian values, in there, you, can get, <laughs> you can get away with a little bit more. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Children. I'm pretty sure Passion the Christ is rated R. <laughs> sure. Now, Maybe some cuts of it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that cut of Passion of the Christ where Jesus calls the priest the gump bitch? <laughs> that was fucked up. After, after, after he stabs him. <laughs> it's probably after he gets stabbed in the rib cage. You <laughs> fucking cunt <laughs> bitch! <laughs> <laughs> and then the devil baby starts laughing at him. <laughs> what was the name of the actor? Jim Caviezel? Yeah. Yeah, for the, the dub, the R-rated dub, they got, um, uh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, the, the British guy who was in Crank. Jason Statham. Oh, yeah, Jason Statham. Statham does the voice of Jesus. You fucking cunt! Oh, my God, you don't <laughs> you... know. <laughs> I don't know. What, what do I not know? Uh, you don't know how bad I want to see Jason Statham play Jesus. <laughs> In that a crank style movie, except he's got to like kill the devil or something. Yeah, dude, <laughs> he's got to lose his Jesus powers yeah. if he doesn't keep killing doesn't like demons. Do, like, he has to good, kill a demon every ten minutes. Kill a demon and do a good deed. And he's like running through Chinatown, killing demons. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, dude, he to, yeah, he's he turns do, water into he has like, to do Jack a Daniels. good deed. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. So, oh yeah, Dean Cain. So Dean send, Cain. Send in your scripts for uh, for the Jason Statham Jesus movie, yeah. and we will produce it. Do you think he'd wear a wig, or do you think he'd keep the bald head? Bald oh, head. bald head for sure. Yeah. But he'd wear, like, a really obviously fake beard. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you can oh, still yeah. see the strap going around the back of his head of the beard. <laughs> you wouldn't even paint or um, glue it on. No, oh no. But Dean Cain plays a lawyer who... Uh, has some sort of agenda. And, and uh, his mom has, like, fucking... Alzheimer's, dementia. All, yeah. dementia, dementia, and an addiction to fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, let's Which talk about she that. she can only manage to take one bite of. Yeah, she eats fried chicken with a fork. She eats fried chicken for two out of three meals every single day, as her nurse tells us. Yeah, which... which is not healthy. No! What? I eat fried chicken twice a week, and I'm an unhealthy slob. Yeah, what kind of nursery... Or not nursery, uh, nursing home... <laughs> it's pretty much a nursery at this yeah, point. She's is. about as smart as a baby. What, she has what nurse would allow somebody to eat fried chicken for every meal every day? It's not like she's requesting it. The nurse is giving it I to know. her. I mean, come on. She's going to die. She's, she's fried... going to die. Might as well let her die happy. If she wants fried chicken, Thinking in the short term, chicken. fucking atheist logic yeah. over here. Piece Wanting of shit. kill off old people. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> at least she's not Jewish. <laughs> oh, my God. Because he wants Jews to die? Yeah. Manimal! Uh, uh... You're not coming off very... very <laughs> oh, we have to change this I, to the long job I, I, I was in, You're going to regret taking this to job interviews. <laughs> oh, no. Having them take a listen to so, other projects. So much for that internship. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you put this on your resume, dude? Yeah. I thought they would be impressed. <laughs> you put the YouTube link on there and everything. <laughs> you thought they'd be impressed that you once watched the movie and then talked about it with your friends? I thought and then it made horribly <laughs> offensive jokes. <laughs> I thought, oh no. <laughs> okay, so the old lady eats fried chicken. What do you want to say about Dean Cain? Uh, Dean Cain uh, could not be. He was. He's pretty burdened by his girlfriend's uh, newly found discovery of her cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did he say? There. So there's a sit down. It couldn't for dinner. wait until yesterday yeah, or tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah. They sit down for dinner, and he says, "I got good news. I, I got partner at the firm." And she's like, "I got news too." I have cancer. This car didn't wait till tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's the funniest line in the movie. We we all had a hearty laugh. <laughs> yeah. But a Tom, Tom Hardy Tom laugh. Tom. Yeah! Oh, God damn. This man looks like Tom Hardy. Yeah. Uh, but that's a compliment, so we shouldn't say it. We should only say mean things. You, you look like Danny DeVito if he was shorter oh, and uglier. Fuck. <laughs> and bald. And you've also got that black goo coming out of your mouth like Batman Returns all the time. <laughs> You're on fucking monkey's 
<laughs> the perfect, perfect penguin. No one can do it better. I don't know what else to I, say about this. I mean... Oh, I thought you were going to say he, more about Dean Cain. Oh, uh, there is a scene of him in his mother's home having a discussion with her. And, uh, I don't and know, she I gets guess, struck by fucking the wisdom God, of Jesus yeah, or some Jesus, shit. Jesus uh, takes over her body for a little bit. So I guess, I guess kind of exorcist goes both ways yeah 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 the good guys can take over yeah people when they need to and then he then jesus left her body to be as it was with all, full riddled, of dementia. With all with dementia. <laughs> riddled with dementia rotting from the inside out oh yeah and uh you know happy ending for her yeah and happy ending for the muslim girl happy ending for the atheist professor who gets killed yeah he, oh, finds, very he dies movie. extremely slowly and painfully, but he finds God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so how this movie ends is the professor dies, and then all of these stories converge. So like, all right, like Magnolia or Pulp Fiction. So before, I would, I would definitely I compare here. God's Not Dead to Pulp Fiction for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So the how before the teacher dies, they, we have our climactic end of the debate, where the student Josh Whedon, he's he's getting under the teacher's skin. He's getting under him. He's oh, like, yeah. why, he's why do you hate him in class? Do you, with do you his, hate uh... God? Why do you hate God? Tell me why you hate God. Why do you hate God? Because we find out previously. It turns out atheists don't don't believe in God so much as just hate him. Hate, yeah. It, because they killed their mom with cancer. Exactly. So we find out that the professor's mom had been killed with cancer. So that's why he hates God. And in front of the classroom, he's. He's berating this broken man who's had this tragic <laughs> moment happen in his life, and he's just, why do you hate God? Tell me why you hate God. And then finally breaks down, oh, I hate God. I hate God he for taking He took everything me. away he from everything me. everything from me. He killed my mother. I hate him. I hate him. And the, and kid's the like, student kid starts student, laughing at him, pulls student, down his oh, pants yeah. and spanks him. him. Oh, yeah. The student he, turns to him and goes, how can you hate him if he doesn't exist? Class dismissed. <laughs> So while we everybody's were, getting A's. So here's the thing: uh, all the everybody's gonna get laid. All, all the kids in class, one by one, they stood up and said, "God's not dead." And uh, like they're it's kids of different races and stuff. We were coming up with uh, racist ways that the kids <laughs> could be doing these things. The the Asian dude doesn't quite understand yet that uh, killing yourself is sacrilege, so he stands up. Oh, God is most honorable. Oh my God. <laughs> and then he pulls out a pulls out oh, a, pulls so out another a, level of, of <laughs> pulls out pulls out a sword, commits some puku, so he can go chill in heaven. He commits puku. Starts starts committing bukaki before he commits some puku. Yes, can't see this. But Manimal is pretending to jerk off his own dick. Yeah. And then, uh, well, the, of course... The black student stands up and says, Yo, God is my homie. <laughs> <laughs> he, he puts his gat away for the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he, takes, he takes the do-rag off for respect. The, the Muslim kid stands up and he peels off his beard like it's Velcro and he takes off his suicide bomber vest and he puts it in the fucking Everybody garbage. Everybody learns to conform to Christianity yeah. and they're going to not die because of it. The lesbian takes her nose ring out. <laughs> Takes she, her off. she takes her tongue out of her girlfriend's pussy. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah. Made I couldn't believe she was, she was eating her out in the middle of class. This is the Christian debate. I mean, <laughs> this movie was going for PG, but it was kind of more like a hard R. If yeah. you got those tendencies, I guess you just got to do what you got to do. I'm surprised they're showing this in Sunday school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We were, I asked this question during the movie. Do you think the Christian audiences started clapping in the theater when the professor gets killed by the car? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, didn't you clap in, uh, like, I don't know, who, uh... The, the last time... in Notre Dame when that man falls into a pit of fire? <laughs> <laughs> the last time I remember clapping in a movie... It must the be, Dark Knight Rises. It was, it was actually very, very recently. When, when I saw... Her, right after Bane, uh, Bane's Batman over his knee. Yeah, he Banes him. He puts a mask on his face and makes him sound like shit. Yeah. I, I involuntarily had the reaction to clap at the end of Hardcore Henry. Because yep. it, it's just like a jump cut to the end credits. And I was like, oh, that's fucking beautiful. And I started clapping because I was so blown away. But usually I, I try not to clap at the end of movies because that's retarded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think the last time I heard... I think people were so starting to clap at the end of Batman versus Superman, but then it died out. Do you remember that? Man? Yeah. 
Like there was a real. small amount of clapping before, like uh, they were clearly hushed by the rest of the audience. <laughs> the fucking that movie, we had this obnoxious black guy sitting behind us. Oh and I'm God. not saying that he was obnoxious <laughs> because oh, he was black. This I'm your... saying he was obnoxious and he just happened to be it's, black. It's like, why even mention his so, race at all? Yeah, <laughs> so that all black people should. Then we're we're, we're talking here. like not only is this guy talking during the entire movie, but he's also <laughs> taking fucking pictures of the movie <laughs> with his flash turned yeah. on. Why does it matter that he was black? <laughs> because he was. <laughs> it doesn't uh, matter if, if, you, if he was insane. white. If he was white, would you have said there's? Yeah, white? I would have said no, you wouldn't. <laughs> if he was Asian, if he was thing. gay, I would have. I would have. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> if, like, if he was gay, if, if it was some, if it was there's just fucking gay. Guy sitting behind yeah. me at the movie. It was jerked I off gotta in the back paint, of my head. I gotta paint the picture for the people. I want it to be like they're there too. Who's painting the back of your head with this cum? I could, I don't know. Oh. Could have been. <laughs> oh. Ta- I mean, hey, who's the one that took it too far this time? I mean, when, when, when did we all die and quit talking? It was after you said that. We so, did. Well, so you, t- I, you I, took I, it too far. I was trying I've to just take been it too letting far. you guys dig your own grave. <laughs> yeah. oh. Dude. After any of my monkey videos, my grave has been dug. Okay. Yeah. I can say anything at this point. It doesn't matter. Uh, what was I going to say? I don't remember. I was, Probably I was, something offensive. I was going to talk about it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So, what all did this play? Oh, so, we were... <laughs> don't get it. So, we were... Right over again. During the trailer. <laughs> this guy... This. No, this guy... This guy did have some... He had some fucking gold that had us laughing the, the entire night. Um, During the previews, there was a preview for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and... As soon as Donatello shows up on screen with his bow staff, the guy just yells, "That arrow!" No, he did when Casey Jones showed up. Fuck it, turn the podcast. He, <laughs> turn it off. Casey Jones it is played by Stephen Amell, the it arrow. Ooh, fuck it. Oh, you can't even tell your racist story, Craig. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this podcast anymore. <laughs> so, so the which, movie. Which, but, which button stops? No. Hit so the, the movie. Button. The movie ends with the Not Newsboys only concert. Made a mistake. This podcast was a mistake. <laughs> The movie ends with the concert, and all the characters from all the subplots go to the concert, and they rock out. And then it ends with the movie asking you to text God's Not Dead to 100 people Spread in your phone. Spread the message. Make it viral. Now, do you guys have 100 contacts in your phone? Nope. Because I certainly don't. I don't well, have maybe, any friends. Maybe you guys don't have connections. <laughs> uh, your long dick gets you all the connections, huh? Sure. So now that we're at the end of the movie, I think we should give our ratings of it. Uh... Uh, Long John and I used to do a radio show back yeah. in the day, and uh, I'm going to use the same rating you, system we, from that. We used to be on public waves, neither can I. Yeah, we used to be on the actual radio with this shit. Does it really matter if only one person listened? Hey, that, they don't even know how popular that, it was. Is that, is that public waves <laughs> only one person's listening? We were still in the public waves. All right, yeah. fair enough. So the rating system is just a simple 1 to 10, uh, 1 being a, a shitty, horrible movie with no redeeming value, 10 being a good movie that you fucking love. Maybe even great, outstanding, perfect, because it's 10 out of 10. So, Manimal, I know you're you're itching to give this movie a perfect score, so go ahead and tell us your rating. I give this one, this movie, one Koran out of 10 Bibles. I give it. But a Koran is worth 10 Bibles, so you gave it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Manimal gives the Manimal movie a perfect score. It. So, uh, what would your score be? Uh, I would give it a 316 out of 10. Okay. An Austin 316 out of 10. 316 out of 10. 3 points. Stunners, stunners and cores for all. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kevin Sorbo gets Stone Cold Centered by a car. <laughs> <laughs> then he dies. He gets, so, he gets stunnered into his grave. Yeah. So I'm going to give this movie an actual rating <laughs> because uh, I. <laughs> you fucking nerd. <laughs> I do enough joke ratings on my other shows that when I. When it comes to, to cinema, like God's Not Dead, I want to take it completely seriously because sure. this movie just begs for respect. Uh, I'd probably give this movie a 2.5 out of 10, just because there are a lot of... It's not so shitty that you can't watch it, because I, I think even though we were all texting a bit, we all enjoy the movie a little bit because of we, how stupid it was. When we tuned in here and there, we got a few pretty good laughs. Just the one, the cancer joke where the guy says that couldn't have waited until tomorrow, that gave it a whole point for me yeah. because it made me laugh so hard. Sure. So on entertainment value, it gets a 2.5. Seeing the Duck Dynasty guy be a retard is pretty funny because he's just... The Duck Dynasty guy is in this movie, and he's a fucking retard. He shows up for one... No, wait, I, two I was going to say one... Yeah, he shows up for two scenes, because... Yeah. He shows up at the very uh, end. And there's the a teacher end. on your in your campus that was making you write, God is dead. Well, guess what? He's dead! <laughs> <laughs> Comes 
to announce the good news. Everybody's getting A's and everybody's getting laid. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. No, they're not getting laid. They're, not, it, they're not getting laid. That's not Christian. Not, yeah. What's wrong with you? They get laid after they're married. Dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, they don't get married that night. You oh, and then, like, and you create more Christians. And then, like, it's, uh, like, uh, proposal rings and pizza just start yeah. raining from the ceiling Any at the concert. you want it. That's the good yeah. God needs it. <laughs> you want it. God is not dead. God is not dead. So find yourself a local cutie, grab a slice and a ring, and go ahead and get yourself hitched at the concert. Go to the local Redbox and uh, download a copy of God's Not Dead. Yeah, and don't watch it. Yeah, download it the Redbox. <laughs> put it on your USB drive that you make sure they take with you. And plug it into your brain because you're half cyborg. Ooh. Okay, yeah, guys. We're listening to this in the future when we finally decide to release it. Yeah, I'm not going to release it because... We have to wait until racism is popular against so that Manimal doesn't get killed <laughs> for all these awful things he said. He said oh he, he's blushing and upset at the same time. <laughs> so okay, we've got any other uh, hmm? any other problems with black people <laughs> list off on air? Our Jews are. Our... Tell me more about racial minorities in the movie theater, Manimal. Yeah. I want to hear. Well. <laughs> How about your frustration that uh, the Dark Tower series has... <laughs> Ooh. How do you feel about Her- Hermione being portrayed by a black woman in the in the stage play? I don't care. He Fucking nerd. Care. He's already over at Harry Potter. He doesn't care. So we've talked about God's Not Dead for a good deal, and I want to transition to a part of the show uh, where we read off some listener... Uh, uh, emails yep on our first episode unfortunately this is the first episode so we don't have any yet no. but well you do have mail on this desk but it seems to be uh it's mostly from my workplace and Ooh, this one's an essay oh yeah Ooh, god is not dead <laughs> no, 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 don't tell him my se- my senior thesis oh it's a screenplay so i working on for years so here guys if you have any questions or comments about today's episode and you want to hear us read them in the next episode shoot Unless us it's a, negative then it go, go ahead <laughs> it goes and, straight to the trash yep uh send it type to type it out and then delete it once you realize that <laughs> you don't care yep it's monkey and manimal at gmail.com i'll have a the the address in the description you can send us any letters you want if you have comments about god's not dead if you have questions for us if you want to tell us how shitty our show is anything goes and we'll probably read them on the next episode because i don't think very many people are going to send in mail because for not, not 40 minutes in, yeah, 40 minutes in, I don't know how many people You're are still probably, here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how long you made it in. Congratulations if you made it this far. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're almost to the point of no return. Yep. Uh, but it's not, guys, too late it's not, for you. It's not over. You're gonna die of cancer. Now, guys, I've got something actually really serious so about this this um, this fan mail thing. Oh. So I don't like to brag a lot. Yeah. About my success, I only have like a couple three thousand subscribers, right? Yeah. Sure. sure. But. There is a celebrity. How many does PewDiePie have at this point? Uh, fourteen million. Okay. There, there's a. Is that a close number? <laughs> <laughs> For real though, there's a there's a celebrity that um that watches my stuff. Is it Elliot Rogers? No, he's dead. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> and oh. when I, when we announced the the podcast, the the celebrity actually sent in a voicemail to the show to congratulate us on starting the podcast. Bullshit. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it for you guys right now. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Hey there, Kermit the Frog here. I just wanted to congratulate you guys on starting your own movie podcast. Again, this is Kermit the Frog here. Uh, congratulations, guys. Oh, that was a real uh, voicemail from Kermit. Thank you so much. Cool. I, I didn't know you were a fan. Killed a good ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where that bit was going, but... <laughs> I just wanted to show off that a celebrity watches my videos. Sure. That's okay. it. Uh, so that was the uh, the mail section Big of today's podcast. Uh, yep. So if you go ahead, write in. Let us know how bad that bit bombed. Uh, how terrible. <laughs> I don't think that it bombed. 10 seconds I was. It was the fun. Did you come up with that uh, ahead of time? Or? <laughs> I have notes written down of what I wanted wow. to do. It was in there. Okay. <laughs> that, you, you made a note for that. I like. I didn't I like want to forget. Gonna make a quick ten minute, first ten second episode bit. material. <laughs> 
rest. I can't oh. wait for the rest of them. I'm <laughs> sure it's only gold from here. I'm, I'm sure uh, a Rocky Balboa is going to give me... Hey, hey, I really like the oh, podcast, wow. guys. <laughs> hey, uh, monkey. Uh, <laughs> very, got a very good job with uh, the talking about God's uh, not dead. Uh, Adrian was telling <laughs> me about you. He was podcasting. <laughs> uh, me and Mick always oh, make his dad. I didn't realize that because I got brain damage. Uh, oh, uh, oh, guys, I forgot. There was one other celebrity oh. voicemail. It was from Nicolas Cage. Cool, uh, very cool. Nick Nicholas Cage, please go ahead and uh, play your voicemail. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Ah, guys, I just wanted to say. Oh, I just wanted to say you guys are doing great job. <laughs> that sounds... this is... Oh wait, that's from Gary Busey. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh, guys, guys, I just got another one from, from Kermit's wife, uh, Pig, what's her name? Uh, Miss Piggy. Yeah, Pig. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hey, guys, pig. hey, guys, it's, hey, guys, it's, it's it. one of the <laughs> She's hanging out with Gary Busey. Oh, no. <laughs> Miss Piggy's having an affair with Gary Busey. <laughs> hey, guys, it's, it's Mr. Pig. <laughs> I love the podcast. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Muslims can't eat me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could say we were high. But not an ounce of oil in this. Okay, so that's that's the the, the male segment. So let's that uh, segment just killed. That's my favorite segment so far. Let's move that on. It's been the only good bit so far. <laughs> we sort of talked about God's not dead. Uh. We, yeah, so let, let's move on to the the part where we recommend movies we like, and also, okay, I announced at the beginning of the show there is a a straw, straw poll where everybody gets to vote for the next movie that we watch, and I also want to give the hosts an opportunity to to bargain with the audience to plea for which movie they want to watch next Ooh. to try to influence your votes. Uh, so, Manimal, you've seen the list. Go ahead and which movie do you want everybody to vote for? Can I say the movie I don't want them to vote yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I don't care what the fuck you guys vote for. Please. Please. I, I'm i not a begging man. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> You're begging right now. You said I please am, twice. I, it's pathetic. <laughs> it just... It is... It's, I will... I'm not gonna lie. This is pathetic. Mm-hmm. It's because I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Please God's don't. God's not dead. Please. <laughs> vote for God's not dead, too. Please, for the love of God. Please. I will convert to Christianity if you people do not vote for the Serbian film. Please. I fucking beg you. I I have made a point in my life to never, ever watch that fucking movie. Do the right thing. Okay, do, now, he's voting for do the right thing. <laughs> do the right thing. Because he thinks it's a terrible it, it's movie. It's a Spike Lee joint. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, the movie I would like you all to vote for, um, there's a lot of good movies on the list, lots of great suggestions, but uh, there's one movie on there that I, I really want to watch for the show. It's called The Serbian Film. Mm-hmm. Uh, I put it at the very top of the list. A movie I'm <laughs> sure you've never seen. No. I, me? Yeah. No, I've seen it several times. That's, That's the what joke. he's getting oh. at. Yeah, uh, no joke, guys. I fucking love a Serbian film. I'm not kidding. This isn't some fucking ironic meta humor bullshit. I genuinely love this film, and I want to force Manimal to watch it because he refuses to. I want to force him to watch it, and I want to force him to talk about it with me for an hour. Are you looking at the anime boobs on my computer? No, I was just at this. Uh, no, but I am distracted by it now. <laughs> there is a, a large, well bosomed <laughs> anime. It's the, it's the thumbnail for my video, uh, Make Anime Great Again. I, I blew it up on the computer so we had something to look at while we're doing this podcast. Keep forgetting it's there and then I'll get a catch it out of the view of my eye, the corner of my eye. So, please, when, you, when you're voting, vote with your heart. Vote for... A, vote with your heart on. Vote with your heart on. Vote for a Serbian film mm-hmm. because trust me, you want to hear what we have to say. Wait, I haven't seen the list. What is the list? You saw the list? I, yeah, I saw it, but I didn't get to look over it. Do you have it up? No, I don't. Oh. Well, just name off some titles. Uh, Shrek. Mm. Shrek 3. Those are too good. Shrek I don't 4. Understand. <laughs> that, that throws the whole uh, point, of, point of the show out the uh, show. Uh, somebody... <laughs> Uh, one that comes to mind for some reason is gay niggers from outer space. Oh, yeah. I, I've heard of that. You're going to be disappointed by it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, there's uh, Song of the South, I think, was on there. Sure. <laughs> which we, can, we can't find it, so it's not possible. Can Blu-ray? <laughs> I don't think it exists. Um, Surely Disney's not uh, in total denial of that movie's existence. 
Uh, Inglorious Bastards got on the list, which is like my fourth favorite movie of yeah. all time. So Nobody's there's wrong some out there. <laughs> no, like they weren't all bad. Yeah, movies. No, there there, 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 some they, it was just like, movies that they wanted us to watch. Whiplash no. was on there. Hell yeah, yeah, vote for Whiplash. I want to see that movie. I haven't seen it yet. I, ha- I have it on Blu-ray in the That's other room, dude. Movie. Oh. Yeah, vote for that movie. I want to see. Vote that. for a Serbian film. But now uh, okay. we've all said what we, we want you to vote for. I didn't get to say. Well, because you don't know what's on the list. Okay, let's watch Shrek Two if we're just gonna watch good movies. Shrek Two's not on the list somehow. Why the fuck not? People only asked for Shrek One, Three, and Four. They didn't ask for Two, so I didn't put it on there. I don't know. I don't know. Can we watch Shrek the Halls? Yes. Okay. That, that'll be a write-in vote. Yeah. So uh, now we're going to do the most boring part of the show where we all that recommend a movie that we actually Ooh. like that yeah, you should you check out. Listening, folks. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to hear our shitty recommendations, you can stop the podcast right now. Who wants to start? Uh, I can go. Okay. Uh, a few nights ago on Netflix, I watched a movie that's been sitting on my watch list for about four months or so. I don't know. But it was called Starry Eyes, and it was a horror drama. Oh. Yeah. I, I seem to watch a lot of those. A lot of, a lot of those on Netflix. Going to get about half of them that are pretty good. Half, you know, it's on a trial and error. But uh, yeah, it was really good. I really liked it. Uh, it is a movie about Hollywood. It's about an actress trying to break out. And she's working at a Hooters type place. And her career seems to be going nowhere. She's pretty, pretty good hearted for the most part initially, as it seems. But uh, she goes to an uh, an audition, and she tries out for the part. They pretty much ridicule her and make fun of her, but they discover that she has something about her that no other audition they've had has. And it, they only realize this when she freaks out in the bathroom. She has this, like this anxiety attack where she tries to rip out her own hair and she's i'm sorry she successfully rips out some of her own hair and freaks out in the bathroom is that what happened to you manimal yeah is that, is that why you don't have any yeah hair? you went to an audition and uh <laughs> i don't want to talk about it <laughs> one too many auditions a little too sensitive of a, of a topic i should have been the stuntman for wolverine god damn it yeah wolverine hollywood, origins hollywood is bu- hollywood is bullshit well, it's because you were, you were so against their use of CGI, and you made yeah. that very vocal during your audition. Let's change Yeah, it was on Variety. I remember that. Yeah. I don't want to talk about <laughs> Then you called the director the N-word for some yeah. reason. It was fucked up, dude. He's not even you black. Talking about, yeah, you were complaining about like movie theaters and yeah. who they should be with. Really <laughs> you, you were talking about your recommendation or not. You thought they oh, should yeah. segregate the seats so you don't have to sit next to one of those darn blacks is what oh you said. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a quote that from is, you, dude. That is, that is awful. <laughs> I may have gone too awful. far in a few places. <laughs> so, uh, Starry Eyes. So Starry Eyes, movie. it sucks. Don't watch it. Yeah, it's a, kind of a slow burn. Uh, it gets... You heard it here. Starry Eyes is boring. <laughs> real boring. Slow burn and character drama. That's exactly yeah. what they say when they mean boring. It gets real gross at the end, though. Oh, cool. Yeah. it's. I don't want to spoil anything, but it's... I liked it. I mean, if you're... If you liked Hateful Eight, you're going to love this movie. Yeah, you're going to love it. You're going to love uh, Michael Madsen. Oh, is he in it? No. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, it does have uh, Noah Segan, who was in Looper, though. Okay. Kid Blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, the, all the deleted scenes with him were much more interesting than the scenes that left in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you ready to go, Manimal? You got a big recommendation uh, for you? I don't fucking know. For you? Well, I'll, I'll oh, you... oh, he's recommending The Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Rises, okay. That's a pretty good the movie. The epic conclusion of the Nolan trilogy. Go ahead, go ahead and watch my... Um, my my fan edit, um, it's it's just the scenes of Bane. Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty good fan edit. That'd be a much better movie than what they gave us. And, it's uh, a much shorter movie, that's for sure. It's it's abridged by me. Uh, I do the voice for all the characters. Um, oh, that's your Bane voice. Your voice for Lucius no, Fox is. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that for. Go Yo, that. I don't Yo wanna, Batman I don't is some ghetto s- shit, dog. I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil. Very offensive. Don't wanna that spoil anything. Offensive. Go ahead. Click on the link in the description for my... <laughs> There's no link. For uh, hey, The don't... only link is to the straw pools. Well... <laughs> okay, a movie that I... If you're going to do a real one, I'll let you think about it. No, I don't fucking care. Uh, okay. <laughs> a movie that came out last year, got, got a bit of Oscar buzz. It won Oscar for Best uh, Actress. You may have heard of it, but you probably haven't seen it. Brooklyn? 
Nope. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> it's called Room. Not to be confused with The Room, the 2000... Oh, you can watch that, too. You back can watch back. that, too. Back yep. to back. It's a double feature, yeah. really. Compare and contrast. Watch The Room and then watch Room. Draws it's, it's, and diagrams. It's pretty much the same movie. I think Room might have been a remake of yeah. The Room. But it's a story. Uh, I don't want to spoil too with, much with, of it. With Zoa's old Greg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So here's the thing about this movie. Don't watch the trailers. The trailers spoil the whole movie. I'm lucky enough that I didn't watch the Me trailers. Me either. Before. I didn't either. I just, I just randomly saw the movie and I went and saw it. And I it was fucking phenomenal. If you see the trailers, you're going to be disappointed. But if you see the movie going in blind, you're going to love it. But just to get you a little interested, I'll tell you what it's about. There's this uh, woman and her young son who looks like a girl. And for half the movie, you're going to think it might be a girl. Yeah, I thought it was a naked woman. Mm-hmm. I thought there was a naked woman in the for a while and because he's just running around in his underwear uh, uh you refer to four-year-old kids as women yeah oh, okay oh. that's weird yeah. <laughs> uh but yeah so little women so <laughs> that's the name of a book isn't it yeah 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 it is i just re- i i honestly don't know anything about that book i just think of the simpsons joke when mo is reading it to a bunch of homeless people <laughs> 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 so uh so there's this uh, a mom and her young son with very long hair and they're living in this little tiny shitty what is it 10 by 10 yeah 10 by 10 room it's got like a, a toilet a shitty tv and a, mommy has stinky farts in a bed yeah and stinky oh, farts no. as he mentions it and, and we don't know why they're living there we don't know if there's like an apocalypse outside or they're being held prisoner or what's going on <laughs> there's there are uh space worms outside john king john Go- i just said i don't want to spoil it you piece of shit sorry fuck it God. Turn off the podcast. We're done. That's fuck it. your fans. <laughs> I, Episode one. I mean, I'd fuck some of them. Ooh, Potad's we'll call, pretty hot. This video will be called... I don't know who one, that is. <laughs> God's not dead. One and done. So if you're intrigued by this premise of people are living in this tiny shitty room and they don't know what's going you'd on... you like William H. Macy, but you don't want to see him stick around for too long. <laughs> Just the fact that you say he's in the movie is a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but... Uh, he uh, plays old Greg, right? No. I'm old gray. Nope. <laughs> you guys remember Just that? trust me when I say it's very intense and there's a point in the movie where your heart will beat out of your chest and it's fucking phenomenal. It's great. Because you're in love with Brie Larson. And you want to watch Tommy Wiseau and he's like, you're tearing me apart, Lisa! That's in this movie, right? Yeah. That was in Room. Sure. The yeah. two- 2015 release Room. Yeah, 2015 Oscar nominated yeah. Room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you think of a recommendation, Manimal? Just in this fucking thing. <laughs> I recommend it's that we turn it off. He's already been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you're still listening at this point, I commend you. Wow. You I are am, a fucking trooper. I am sorry. Trust me when I say every episode is going to be this bad, if not worse. Oh, Jesus. But uh, we're going to do a new podcast the first Sunday of every month. Uh, and we're going to always do the movies you guys vote for. So first Sunday. Because we'll be, it'll be rendering while we're at a church. Right. Because God's not dead. <laughs> He's surely God's alive. God's not dead, folks. He's surely alive. So please don't forget, you can vote for multiple movies in the in the poll. So vote for all the ones that you want us to watch. And uh, we'll we'll see what we have to watch for next month. For Monkey and Animals four. Movie Missions. I have... <laughs> you're going to say for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have been Monkey Jones. I've been Manimal. I've been... <laughs> KKK Supreme Wizard Manimal. I, I've been a broken man. I've been Gary Busey. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Uh, don't ever listen again.